Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. 21 days ablaze is another one in the books. Hallelujah. We give God praise, honor, and glory. I want to give everybody just a few minutes, praise the Lord, as I always do, to get uh, logged in. Amen. To get ready to go into prayer and to see what the Lord is saying unto us. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you that submitted a daily devotion, a devo uh, unto us. We had more than enough. Amen. I think we got about 40 days worth of material. But of course, we only submitted uh, 41 of them. I'm mean, sorry, 21 of them. And we give God praise for each and every one of you. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for all of you who have been supporting during this time frame, who have been interceding, have been praying, have been following the directives and directions of the Lord uh, for these 21 days. I pray that your, uh, your life and your relationship is much more richer and has been enriched with God, uh, who we pray to, and then who we pray others, each other who we pray with. Amen. And then others who we uh, know and don't know who we pray for. And so we give God praise, honor and glory. So whether it's to him, whether it's with someone else or whether it's for someone else, God is a prayer answering God. We just need to be a people that's praying unto him, believe in him on every side and call upon his holy name. Now, you know, uh, as we end this prayer time together, we're going to take communion at the very end. We had not taken communion during this season of our 21 days, but that's okay. Prayerfully, you've been taking it uh, on, on there without any directives, but we will take it together when we end this. But I also, too, just want to say that um, where we're ending this is really a, really, I pray God wants a continuation. When we say amen, it's not the end of a thing. It's the continuation of a thing. And out of all we have said and all we have done through this time of fasting and prayer, praise the Lord, this is where we end up at. And you know where it is with me and my spirit, what I believe that God is telling me, amen. I know God is telling me this by the Holy Spirit, amen, through his son, Jesus Christ. And that is that we be hungry for his holiness, hungry for his holiness. And that's where I want to, the Lord wants us to end our time of 21 days, but it's also to a beginning unto a road, praise God, unto a road of wholeness, unto eternal uh, wholeness, to the road of eternal wholeness. I can't let that go, amen, it's still strong in my spirit as we unify together Let's all go up together, amen, to the road of eternal wholeness or everlasting wholeness. Praise be to our God. But our scripture reference, amen, before we pray is actually coming out of Exodus, amen, Exodus 15 and the, starting at the ninth verse. Now, this is what the enemy said he was going to do, amen, when the people of Israel, the people of God was getting ready to get the greatest transition in human history up until this point. It was the greatest transition. It was 400 years, 430 years actually of slavery and God had transitioned them, amen, into the wilderness in preparation of taking them where he was wanting them to go. Really, literally on the road to uh, everlasting wholeness. That's really where they were going, amen, to get to Canaan. I realized that. Now, this is what the enemy said, praise the Lord, because the enemy don't want you to be in transition. The enemy don't want you, amen, to be in the fullness of what God has for you. So now watch this, praise God. It said the enemy said, somebody said the enemy said, the enemy said, now this is Exodus 15 and 9. The enemy said, I will pursue. The enemy said, I will overtake. The enemy said, I will divide the spoils. The enemy said, my lust shall be satisfied upon them. The enemy said, I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. That's what the enemy said. Hallelujah. And I believe that's what he's saying. Now watch this now. 
And then he says that thou dost blow with thy with thy wind, and the sea covereth them, and they sank, amen, as lead in the mighty waters. Now this is what happened as the enemy, as they were going across on dry land and the enemy pursued after them, the enemy says, I'm gonna get them back because God does not have the power to deliver them. But this is what he says here, and this is a hunger for his holiness. This is what Moses says, amen. Who is like unto thee? Talking about God. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among all the other gods? So many gods in Egypt, all small g, but only one capital G God, the true and living God. And the Moses asked the question, who is like thee? Amen. Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness glorious in holiness praise God fearful in praises doing wonders isn't that amazing isn't that a powerful scripture when Moses asked the question who is like thee who has the ability to not only to deliver us but then has the preparation to take us where we are where the children of Israel were going to the land of Canaan and I believe, amen, that we right now in this world, in this time frame, it's, it's in the United States, I believe it's around the world, amen, is in time of transition. And we have been, and we have experienced a live transition in this ministry this year, praise the Lord, amen. Because God is saying, I'm taking you to a place that I've already prepared you. Not just so much as it is another building, more so, praise God, a place in him that he's already prepared. And so we talk about a hunger for God's righteousness, for his holiness, we're talking about a hunger for him, a hunger for him that only he, amen, can satisfy. So as we end this time, praise God, of our 21 days of blaze, I want to end it, praise God, with a prayer unto God for a hunger for his holiness, for him to reveal himself unto us in ways hallelujah that we ourselves have never experienced before a depth a length and a height that we've never experienced before being rooted deeper than we've ever been before reaching higher in him than we've ever done before going further in him than we've ever done before in this season of a hunger for his holiness hallelujah hunger for him Hallelujah, a hunger for righteousness, a hunger for purity, a hunger for wholeness. It all comes with a hunger for holiness. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we end our 21 days ablaze, we actually began a whole new season of seeking after you, a whole new hunger that we've never had before. It's like it's an insatiable hunger that we have hallelujah for you it's a it's a it's a it's a hunger pain that cannot be satisfied unless you feed us lord god and for that god we give you praise we thank you god that we have torn down this flesh that we may build up our spirit man hallelujah and for that god we give you praise thank you for walking at another dimension not another level but another dimension in you because we hunger for your holiness we hunger for the pureness, amen, of our relationship with you. And for that, God, we do give you praise. So I salute, hallelujah, all of those who stay the course the whole 21 days. I salute, hallelujah, and heaven says their pleasure will be poured out upon you because of the sacrifice that you made, hallelujah, that we made all together, amen. And so for that, God, we do give you praise. The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. We are in transition, but we will deliver and we will reach our destiny. Hallelujah. And our destination in the Lord. Hallelujah. So stand, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, each one. Hallelujah. In the work of the Lord, for your labor is truly not in vain in the Lord. And there's a spirit, hallelujah, that God says you won't be weary anymore in the well-doing of what you are doing. Father, we're hungry for your holiness. And we're on the road, hallelujah, to everlasting wholeness or eternal wholeness because we are unified together 
we're coming up together in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah and amen. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he magnificent? Isn't he marvelous? Has this not been a wonderful journey? And yet the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, in taking communion together, hallelujah, the Bible says that on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and he blessed it and he gave it to his disciples. Hallelujah. So, Father, we bless the elements of the communion and we do give you praise. We thank you for all that it represents. Hallelujah. Your body, which was broken for us. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. For that we might be able to be saved. Hallelujah. Your body, which was a sacrifice for sin that separated us from God. Sin did. But you joined us back together because you are the Lamb of God, the sacrifice. You blessed it. So we bless the elements that represent you as we commune with you in the name of Jesus as one man. And we give you praise, God. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, he blessed it, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, said, take, eat. This is my body, which was broken for you. Eat ye all of it. Then he says, in like manner, he took the cup after they had supped. And he said, this is the, this is the blood of the New Testament. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. Because without the shedding of blood, hallelujah, there can be no ratification, praise God, of the covenant. And we do give God praise. He said he took the cup and he blessed it. He gave it to his disciples and said, take drink. This is the blood of the new covenant. Hallelujah. The New Testament. Hallelujah. This is the dispensation of grace, of God's goodness and his glory. He said, drink ye all of it. And the Bible says they went away rejoicing and singing psalms. And that's what I think that God wants us to end this time of prayer in singing psalms and blessing him. Let's go out and witness to somebody. Let's go out and bless somebody. Let's keep the momentum going. Hallelujah. We may be ending our time of corporate prayer of our 21 days, but I'm telling you the individual breakouts of how all that God has done to bring us all together, I believe that unity is only going to get stronger as we go forth and enter into the holiday seasons. It's going to be a banner year, hallelujah, in spite of everything that's going on, hallelujah. I just see glory. I see God's goodness being poured out on his people like never before. So again, thank you for each and every one of you that participated in this process. Again, may God bless you. May God keep you. May his face shine upon you. May you know the goodness of the Lord all the days of your life. May you not lack in anything. And may you, like all of us, continue to be on the road to everlasting wholeness or eternal wholeness because we are unified together and we cannot be divided, separated asunder. And for that, we give God praise. So again, y'all know me, praise our God. This is Pastor Tony McKinney, Redeeming Love Family Church, the Church of Champions, the Love Center, right here at 2350. Hallelujah. Bent Ridge Lane, right here in the All-American City, All-Anointed City of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Again, thank you. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've enjoyed this message. There are several ways you can help us further the gospel of Jesus Christ. Please feel free to sow a seed via the Giveify app. Type in Redeeming Love Family Church or at Cash App at Cash Tag RLFC1 through PayPal by clicking the online giving tab on our website at www. Dot rlfc1.org or mail your check of money order to Redeeming Love Family Church P.O. Box 25974 Fayetteville, North Carolina 28314 We thank you in advance for your support.